Welcome back, everybody. It is 3 p.m. Eastern Time, October 4th, 2017. All right, so those of you that don't know this already, we are officially in Tropical Depression territory with this Invest 90L. Um, at this point, guys, this is going to be um, a tropical storm more than likely by the end of the night tonight, and uh, even more likely this thing will become a hurricane very soon. Uh, as of right now, the only thing that may delay this a little bit is its interaction with the land right here, if you see where my mouse is. Uh, this area here is uh, Honduras and Nicaragua here, and if it makes landfall here, all that's going to do is, is basically delay the inevitable. Uh, once this storm passes over this piece of land, if it hits it at all, it looks like it might have a little bit of contact. Right here, guys, I'm going to show you a chart with this warm water uh, deal we have going on. Uh, this storm is going to form very quickly. This storm is reminding me a lot like Maria as far as it forming. If you guys remember, Maria went from tropical storm to a category 5 in 26 hours. That is one hour over a day. And we have a path here that takes this thing through the weekend. Once this storm gets to about right here where my mouse is, even if it were to clip either side of these land masses here, the momentum and warm water here is bringing this thing up very quickly. And you can tell the, um, the tone, even in the National Hurricane Center on the Weather Channel, the second they put this recon plane... Uh, it's a little weird to make out here, but this is the storm here. This is Invest 90L, and this is the path that the recon plane takes. They usually go, a lot of times they'll do an X, they'll come back up this way, they'll X through along the side of the eye, and then they drop readings into it. They'll drop sensors into the storm, they have sensors on the airplane, and that's when you really start getting that accurate, accurate data in this storm. And no joke, guys, the second this plane was feeding data back to the Hurricane Center, you should see these people's faces. They just like, they're like, oh man, they did not expect this storm to be what it's becoming right now, and that's why I'm making this video. Again, I am not here to scare anyone, I'm not here to worry people, I'm here to bring awareness to things that people don't know. People wait until the Weather Channel or their local news tells them that there's something significant happening. I have people down in the comments section saying, my local news hasn't mentioned a word about this. And the reason for that is, guys, is they're not going to draw out this story and waste time on it until it's an actual threat. That's how uh, mainstream media works, just so you guys know. They're not going to report on anything unless it's something juicy that they can get uh, ratings on. So they won't talk about this storm until it's literally a threat to to these uh, Gulf Coast states. So anyway guys, what I'm here to do to show you right now is obviously how quickly this thing is forming, um, how much water vapor is in it, how much warm water we have for this thing to travel in. It is going to move north, maybe slightly northwest, again possibly clipping areas near Honduras right here, and then once it gets here guys, all bets are off. This thing is going to strengthen and it's going to strengthen very quickly. It's got nothing but warm water, no shear winds to speak of. The last of the shear winds, if you can see right here, are kind of pulling back some of this uh, water vapor that was forming in this uh, disturbance that we had uh, for a little bit the charts were uh, going a little glitchy uh, my buddy down below Norway mapping he uh, he pointed this out also this was very interesting to see that the shear winds were still influencing this but you can see clearly this is moving north those shear winds are lifting up they are gone we are not dealing with shear winds anymore uh, this storm may have a chance of reforming actually but what I think is going to happen here is as Nate I'm going to start calling this Nate because I don't think there's any chance of this not becoming Nate at this point uh, Nate we we will have an official name on this probably in a couple hours, uh, more or less. What I think is going to happen here is as this thing moves north, whether it hits land or not, it's going to begin using this water vapor or whatever uh, vapor is there at the time, which is very active, clearly, and it's going to use that as fuel as well as the warm water. So we're talking about a rapid growth here, guys. This has the potential. Um, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating this in any way. This has the potential of being a Category 4 or Category 5 storm before making a possible landfall of basically, as of right now, the forecast shows from Louisiana all the way east to the west coast of Florida. That does not mean by any stretch of the imagination that Texas is out of this conversation. I don't have Texas on the thumbnail only because all data is pointing at uh, most of it's uh, right at Louisiana at the moment. 
And that's significant because Louisiana has been on their toes for years and years and years since Katrina, uh, wondering every year if they're going to get hit again uh, with uh, Irma coming in here, threatening the Gulf. Uh, uh, Louisiana was on their toes. And, guys, it's just the way it goes in this time of year. When these storms form, they usually go one of two ways, and that's over the area near Cuba and through the Bahamas. And then by the time they'll make it to this part of the Atlantic, chances are the water is too cool for it to survive or be a super strong storm. We kind of saw that deal with Sandy, even though Sandy was a little sooner than this point in time. So most of these storms, guys, they'll either they go into the Gulf, and if they don't die out in the Gulf, which really there's nothing to aid in this storm dying out, it's going to be one of these states that takes the brunt of this storm. Here is the current timeline they have. This may change, just so you guys know. A lot of you that follow me uh, know right away that this info changes. But again, the data is very consistent. They're very um, the, uh, tight on the models, as you can see right here. Uh, the spaghetti models. A lot of them do have it clipping land here, once again, by uh, Belamopan, I believe it is, uh, Belize, and then another area of Mexico here. The name is slipping me at the moment. But again, it does not matter because once it's in this area where this warm, warm water is, guys, this deep red color, it's here for longer than a day. We're talking, here's Thursday, 8 a.m., and then Friday, 8 a.m., that's a full day in here. And like we said, Maria, for, in 26 hours, went from tropical storm to a Category 5, and that was because of perfect conditions around it. And that is exactly what this storm has. It has perfect conditions, zero shear winds, a ton of warm water, and exploding storms going on all around it. All up the uh, down the coast of Mexico here are uh, big storms forming. We have this whole system here to the south of Florida near the Bahamas that's slowly moving over Cuba and it's also being pulled down into this system already so guys we are looking at Nate this will become Nate it may be uh, in a couple hours and then that's when we really have to watch and see how strong this thing is going to get before it enters the Gulf again I'm not trying to scare anyone I'm bringing awareness to the situation I have a ton of comments below on my last video saying that the local news especially in areas all along the coast here are not even talking about this right now and and you know what? I think that has to do with ratings, guys. They're not going to talk about something unless they it's a direct threat or it brings them ratings and, and popularity to their um, TV stations. That's why the Weather Channel is a good source as of right now and these private sources online that aren't going out of their way to try to scare people. I'm not trying to do that. I'm bringing awareness to you. Those of you that have been following me know this already. But guys, this is nothing to mess with. This storm is going to grow very quickly. And then once it's in the Gulf, that's when you're going to start seeing your warnings and watches. There's going to be tons of them. And in my opinion, they're going to stretch all the way from uh, Louisiana, all the way through Mississippi, Alabama coasts, uh, Florida. And once it gets a little closer to this area, you may even see them start happening in Georgia, South Carolina, and so on and so forth. So guys, this is not something to mess with. I know we've had a couple storms uh, begin to brew and then fizzle out. People are tired to hearing about this stuff we are in uh, the first week of October but this is this is what we're dealing with guys this is a reality and we need to be aware of this storm really quick I'm gonna run you through the uh, current models we have we're a little bit zoomed in here so we can get a better idea of where they're projecting this to go all right so as of right now this is when the storm has already gone through the warm water this right here this shows potential to be a category 4 storm the these rings and this in this deep uh, yellow color that is a possibility, so we could be dealing with a Cat 4 as it's entering the Gulf of Mexico, guys. This is not a joke. This is A lot of these models are, ve are becoming very consistent and uh, agreeing on this. Uh, this one happens to take it right into the panhandle of Florida. This could be a Category 5 at this point, guys. We have nothing but warm water. We have no interruptions in the way besides a... a a tiny little hit on land here or there, but by the time it gets to here, it's already going to have so much momentum that the second it, it gets back into water, it's going to reform, just like that fan I'm talking about. When you blow on the fan, then you stop, it starts spinning again. That momentum wants to keep going, and these shear winds, the lowest they come is above Louisiana. You can see it right here and a little bit through Texas, and these are continuing to rise, and it's almost acting now as a pull. It's going to pull this storm up to the north. That's why there's so much concern with the area of Louisiana. Louisiana that sticks out and clearly the panhandle with Mississippi and Alabama in between 
That was the European model. Here is the GFS showing a little bit of a weaker storm, but again, guys, the GFS has not been doing very good at all this season with the projection of storms, but I will show you anyway. There it is right there coming over that, uh, that end part of Mexico and more towards the center of Louisiana in this model. This is why I'm saying that Texas is not out of the loop here. Any little shift down below while this thing is growing could put this storm right through Texas also. That's why all the Gulf states need to be aware this we're talking basically by the weekend we're going to start seeing watches and warnings because of this this is not that far away we're talking three four five days tops and that's when those projection models begin to drop off so we are within that area where these models are very accurate again they are swinging back and forth here but that is why we need to keep an eye on this now we're going to check out cmc which has a very interesting model right now the cmc always seems to have these really crazy models going on now we see the storm come up. This is that storm that we were watching by the Bahamas. Rather than being completely pulled down over Cuba and becoming part of uh, Nate here, it shows this storm crossing the path of Florida, which it's kind of doing right now. There is some weather going on in South Florida uh, going from east to west. But look what happens here. Once again, a little bit of a Fujiwara, and then it swings it right into Louisiana. Check that out. And then something else to keep an eye on, guys. Watch this. We're talking... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 days after that, or 5 days after that, look at this storm that's projected to enter into the Gulf. It's going to cross the Bahamas, South Florida, and then watch this. Massive hurricane in the dead center of the Gulf once again. This would be Ophelia if this stays true. This is a big, big storm. Once again, potential to be Category 3 to 4, possibly a 5, depending on what happens in this area. So guys... Once again, these shear winds leaving have opened this entire area up for risk, and it's happening very quickly. The storms are moving and uh, developing quickly, and when we see stuff like that, that's when those Category 5s begin to enter your mind. Here is the nav gem, perfectly cutting the gap right into the Gulf, and then making landfall once again, basically cutting Louisiana and Mississippi right in half there as far as landfall and then moving into northern Alabama and then up into the states. Guys, that's where we're at right now. This is not something to mess with. You need to keep a close eye on this storm, especially if you live in these states in the Gulf. Um, I'm going to bring you another update soon. I know this one was quick, but I wanted to get this info out there. Uh, we could be dealing with a tropical storm in the next couple hours, and then from that point forward, this thing has so much potential to grow, so much warm water, and the conditions are perfect. All right, guys, stay safe. I hope I see you soon. Bye-bye.